In the beginning, there was nothing. No stars, no planets, no galaxies. Not even space or time itself. Just silence so deep it cannot be imagined. And then, in an instant, everything changed. From an unfathomable point smaller than the smallest atom, energy beyond comprehension erupted. In less than a heartbeat, the universe was born. It did not unfold slowly, it exploded into existence, stretching and expanding faster than the speed of light, painting the emptiness with the first canvas of creation. Imagine for a moment that you could stand at that instant. You would not see stars or glowing light, because the newborn universe was a storm of fire and particles, hotter than a trillion suns. Matter and energy collided in chaos as the laws of physics, those invisible rules that govern everything, were being written in real time. The building blocks of all things, protons, neutrons, electrons, swirled in a furnace of unimaginable heat, racing through a cosmos that had just taken its first breath. Seconds passed. The universe cooled just enough for particles to bind together. Hydrogen, the simplest element, formed in vast oceans across the void. Helium too was born, destined to fuel the first stars. But the sky was still dark, because light itself was trapped in the density of creation. A fog hung over the universe, a cosmic veil. Only after hundreds of thousands of years would that veil lift, releasing light across the cosmos, a glow that still whispers to us today as the faint cosmic microwave background a ghostly echo of the moment when darkness gave way to illumination. And then, something extraordinary happened. Out of that simplicity, stars ignited. They were not like the stars we know now, but colossal, fierce giants, burning with furious intensity. These first stars were the alchemists of the cosmos, forging heavier elements in their cores, carbon, oxygen, iron, the ingredients of life. But their brilliance was short-lived. They exploded in violent deaths, scattering their treasures across space, seeding the universe with the raw materials that would one day become worlds, oceans, and living beings. Galaxies began to form, vast islands of stars gathering under the pull of gravity. Spirals, ellipticals, clusters, each one a universe within the universe, each one a theater where stars were born, lived, and died. Among them, in a quiet corner of the Milky Way, a small star came to life. Around it, dust and gas swirled, colliding, merging, and sculpting into planets. One of those planets was small, fragile, and seemingly insignificant. Yet it would become the stage for the most mysterious story the universe had ever told, the story of life. On this pale blue dot, oceans shimmered, skies roared, and chemistry began to dance. Molecules twisted into patterns, patterns into codes, and from those codes, life emerged. First as tiny cells clinging to survival, then as creatures exploring seas, then crawling onto land, then gazing at the sky with wonder. For billions of years, evolution sculpted minds that could not only survive, but also dream. And eventually, one species arose that asked the question no other had dared to ask. What is the universe and why are we here? Every breath you take, every atom in your body, every thought in your mind is a continuation of that original explosion, that first spark. You are made of stardust, forged in the cores of ancient suns, scattered by supernovas and gathered by gravity to form you. You are not separate from the universe. You are the universe, become aware of itself. And here you are, on this small rock, circling an ordinary star, at the edge of a galaxy among trillions, floating in a cosmos that may be infinite. The universe is vast beyond imagination. And yet, in its story, you are not an outsider. You are part of the narrative, woven into its very fabric. Think about the scale of what surrounds you. The earth beneath your feet feels vast, yet it is less than a speck compared to the sun. The sun itself, enormous and blazing, is but a grain of sand compared to the Milky Way galaxy. 
and the Milky Way, just one among more than two trillion galaxies scattered across the observable universe. The numbers are staggering, so vast that the human mind can barely grasp them. Yet here you stand, trying to imagine it all, trying to hold the infinite inside a finite brain. The light you see when you gaze at the night sky carries secrets of time itself. When you look at the nearest star beyond the sun, you are seeing light that began its journey over four years ago. Look further and you may see the glow of galaxies whose light has been traveling for millions, even billions of years. In every glance, you are peering into the past. The night sky is not a painting. It is a time machine. Each star a memory of an earlier universe. But even this staggering immensity is just the beginning of the mystery. Beyond the galaxies we can see, there are realms we cannot. The universe is expanding, stretching faster and faster, driven by a strange force scientists call dark energy. It pushes galaxies apart, pulling the fabric of space like a tide that never ebbs. What is dark energy? No one knows. It is invisible, untouchable, and yet it makes up nearly 70% of everything that exists. We live in a universe dominated by a presence we cannot see. And then there is dark matter, the shadowy counterpart to ordinary matter. It does not glow. It does not shine. It cannot be touched. And yet without it, galaxies would fly apart like leaves in a storm. It binds the cosmos with invisible threads, shaping the large-scale structure of everything we know. It outweighs the matter we can see by a factor of five, and yet we are blind to it. Imagine standing in a room filled with invisible pillars holding up the ceiling, knowing they are there, but never able to see or touch them. That is our relationship with dark matter. So we live in a universe where most of reality is hidden from us. A universe that is mostly dark, mysterious and untouchable. And yet, in the thin slice we can perceive, there is staggering beauty and order. Stars burn with mathematical precision. Planets orbit with perfect balance. Gravity shapes spirals of galaxies into breathtaking forms. Physics writes poetry across the canvas of space, and we, fragile beings of dust and thought, are here to read it. But the story is not a simple one of beauty and wonder. It is also a story of chaos, destruction, and endings. Stars that shine eventually die. Galaxies collide and merge, tearing each other apart and creating new forms. Black holes, those monstrous pits of gravity, wait at the centers of galaxies, devouring light and matter with insatiable hunger. Once thought of as cosmic villains, we now know they also play a role in shaping galaxies themselves, their gravitational influence sculpting the environment where stars are born. Creation and destruction are intertwined, two sides of the same coin. And still, we return to the question, what is the universe? Is it infinite, stretching without end in all directions? Or is it finite, curved back on itself, like the surface of a sphere? If you traveled far enough, would you return to the place where you began, as a traveler circling the Earth? Or would you drift forever, never reaching an edge, because there is no edge to reach? The truth remains hidden, wrapped in mathematics and mystery, waiting for minds yet unborn to uncover. Perhaps the most haunting mystery of all is time itself. We live in it, we move through it, we are bound by it, but what is it? The universe had a beginning, and it seems to be rushing toward an end. In one vision of the future, the stars will burn out, galaxies will fade, and the universe will grow cold and silent, a graveyard of once shining lights. In another, the expansion may rip apart even atoms, shredding space and time itself in a final event known as the Big Rip. Or perhaps, one day, the universe will collapse back on itself, returning to the nothingness from which it came, in a cycle of endless rebirth. We do not know which fate awaits us, but the clock is ticking, silently, endlessly, and through it all, we are here, for just a flicker of cosmic time. If the entire history of the universe were compressed into five minutes, humanity's existence would be less than a fraction of a second, a blink in eternity. And yet, within that blink, 
we have learned to look outward, to question, to imagine. We have built telescopes that can peer to the edge of the observable universe, particle accelerators that can glimpse the echoes of creation, and equations that can describe realities we cannot see. We are small, yes, but our curiosity is immense. The universe is not just out there, it is within us. The iron in your blood, the calcium in your bones, the oxygen in your lungs. All of it was born in stars that lived and died billions of years ago. When you breathe, you breathe atoms once breathed by ancient trees, dinosaurs, and perhaps even stars themselves. You are a child of the cosmos, and every heartbeat is a reminder of that lineage. So here we are, aware of the vastness, aware of the mystery, aware that we are temporary passengers in a timeless sea. The universe will go on without us. But while we are here, we have the chance to marvel at it, to question it, to love it. And maybe that is the point. Not to conquer the universe, not to own it, but to simply witness it, to be part of its unfolding story.